Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to Weekly Astrology. And I bring you good news. Yeah, baby. This week oh, is so much easier. And we have got great opportunities when it comes to communication and talking and persuading and experiencing fabulous news. That's because Mercury, the planet of communication, is sextiling Pluto and sextiling Jupiter. Oh, and there's a bit of diving deep with Neptune too. Yeah, here's your weekly astrology. Hey Virgo, this week is great news. Your ruler Mercury is doing some fabulous, interesting and marvellous things that you can take advantage of. You know, you're obviously you're highly attuned to whatever Mercury's doing. And this week with a lovely sextile to Jupiter and Pluto, it's an opportunity. In fact, this whole week sings with opportunities for you to communicate, transform through your ideas, the sharing of information, interesting information, potentially life changing information coming your way. Now we kick off before that with, with Mercury trine Neptune, the planet of spirituality, empathy, past lives, hidden things and secrets. So, but it's a trine, so it's a good thing. And you are have the ability to heal a soul connection you have with somebody, whether it's a friend, whether it's a lover, whether it's an ex-lover. There, and, and actually, sometimes we we can sort of communicate without having to physically communicate uh, with an ex if we want to do some healing on on a relationship we've had in the past. But there is this sort of feeling that your soul knows the answers connected to relationships this week and whether you're directly communicating or whether you're just feeling it and you know that there's a sort of you know your auras are meeting somewhere a part of you and your ex is meeting somewhere uh, not of this world to sort things out um have any of you had that experience by the way where you know that you're, you're thinking of an ex and they're thinking of you well it's a similar thing but it's like you're just kind of communicating letting go or whatever it is you need to communicate anyway on top of that, the, the sextile with Pluto in your pleasure zone and the sextile with Jupiter in your pleasure zone, change, expansion, a commitment. Uh, and often, actually, one of the powerful thing for you to do is to change uh, your belief system, to change your idea, to change your expectations. And that has a profound and magical effect in your day to day reality. So do you expect fabulous good fortune and expansion? Do you, ex do you expect positive change? If not, this is the week to really work on your inner voice and your belief system and to do something to help those energies and the magic of your mind. Because trust me, you were born with extra magic when it came to communication. Your words are spells, your, your beliefs are spells. So, you know, work on that this week and something amazing could happen. You could also get a great big, huge gift of good news this week or an idea or something that inspires you to make change in your life. So very, very positive. There is um, an opposition of Venus and Uranus, which brings about a surprise in your love life uh, or some a scurrying uh, 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 of surprise information. Um, yeah, but other than that, I would say, and even that's not necessarily bad news. It may be to do with a shift of space or a kind of excitement, planning something you want to do in the future. But whatever, this week is top notch for you. Let us see what the tower has to say. I'm just going to pull three cards to see if there is a little message for you, a little added something. Let's go, go, go. The three of cups. You have some great friends around you. Joyously connect with your friends and the people that you really make you laugh and you have a good time with, whether that's on Zoom, whether it's, you know, whatever is permissible where you are. Um, potentially Zoom, unless they're in your support bubble. Have a great time. Connect with those people that love you and, and, and adore you because you might be feeling a little bit lonely. Have you been going within within yourself in, the, in this lockdown or in this time where you're, you're not as free as usual? You know, you, there's great wisdom when you spend time alone, but also know that you are loved and you have some, some people around you that really do care for you. And actually, this is so interesting because we've got the Three of Cups, which is friendships and connection. We've got the Hermit, which is going within. And then we've got the Two of Cups, someone special who you've got a really heart connection with. And actually, we need all of those things. We need space alone to seek our wisdom. We need our mates. And we also 
well, not everybody needs, but you know, well, actually, we've got, we all need a one-to-one -one with someone that gets us, whether that's a lover or a friend, it doesn't really matter. But you've got all three going on this week. Honour all three, take some space, connect with your mates, and if you have a love interest or someone that you really have a heart connection with, regardless of how you describe it, connect with that person too. Take care, gorgeous soul, and I will speak to you soon. And don't forget, if you want your free natal chart, if you don't know it, or compatibility chart, which tells you how you are compatible with a lover or a friend, uh, and your free tarot Celtic cross, michellenight.com, and all things astrology, your written astrology, and so much more, horoscope.co.uk. And it'd be fabulous if you gave me a like if you liked it. Take care, sending you so much love. MichelleKnight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight, so I knew all of the, the psychics and they'd read for me. It's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do, and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show. That and Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family, and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got a job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight wasn't, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two or three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings and this beautiful distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers, well, that's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michelleknight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.